Okay, hi guys. Um, today I'm at work again, obviously, and I figured I would do a little a video of what's in my makeup bag, what's in the makeup bag that I would take to school or work to touch up makeup, not necessarily to create a makeup, but just to touch up throughout the day type of thing, because that's something that sometimes is hard to kind of figure out and just kind of keep there. And this is about the fourth or fifth time that I've recorded this video because the phone keeps ringing and on this video I can't cut and paste. Um, it's not my actual normal video. This is my phone. So, yeah. Um, I usually have a bag like this in my purse that's always in there. And in there I keep, let's see, I keep two mascaras, the Maybelline Illegal Length uh, Extensions and Maybelline Falsies. So... Two mascaras, you can never go wrong with mascara. If worst case scenario, you just put mascara on your eyes, both still look great. Then I do keep a lot of concealers because I usually wear um, a pretty matte foundation, especially for work like today, so I don't really need to worry about powder. I just keep a lot of um, concealers since I'm wearing a dark eye today, especially. Um, I want to make sure I have concealer in case it drops down or anywhere it smudges. Um, so I do keep my two MAC Studio Finish, this is NW20 and NC20, um, my staples that you guys I'm sure have heard me talk about. I keep my CoverGirl uh, Invisible Concealer in Fair, this is great for under the eye and brightening. Um, and to kind of move this around, I use my MAC 224 brush just to blend it in. And then this is a new one which you'll see in my 3D uh, video coming up soon. Um, the 3D makeup like Kim Kardashian. This is a great one. This is the Maybelline Cover Stick Corrector Concealer in Yellow. This is great for brightening the face, for covering up any redness or acne. Um, and to do that, to spot conceal, I use my Real Techniques um, Pixel Point Eyeliner Brush, which is great for just putting on a spot, taking your finger, blending in, and you're done. It's very fast like that. Then I also keep usually an eyeliner. In this case, I have really dark eyes today. I have two black eyeliners, one for the waterline and one to put around the waterline to keep the waterline one from kind of going out and kind of feathering down. My waterline one is Master Drama uh, by Maybelline in Midnight Master. Very creamy, very pigmented, very good, but tends to sometimes slip off the waterline if you're not careful. And then this one is by Profusion. Um, it came in a Profusion palette that I will review and show pretty soon. Um, a one that's comparable to this is the e.l.f. brightening one. So just some kind of eyeliner. And that's about all I have in this bag. Um, and then in my purse, there's a little section of my purse that I keep a bunch of lip products because I just usually don't do my lips unless I'm going somewhere and I don't really do it at home because I tend to just do it when I get a place. Um, so I keep a kind of a range of colors but not too wide of range. Um, that's just permanently in my purse. So I have two Revlon lip butters. This one is pink truffle which I am wearing today with something else and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and it looks something like this. I'll go ahead and swatch these so you can see. It's a really nice kind of like my lip color but better, more of a pinky red color. This is the creme brulee one which is a very kind of brownie orange nude which is, would be great for dark eyes like today as well. And it looks like that. Keeping with the nude theme, actually no, we'll go on to something else first. This is the Clinique Chubby Stick in Super Strawberry. And you can see this in my Makeup for Any Age video, I use that. It's kind of a little bit lighter than the Revlon Lip Butter, but a little bit more pinky as well. Then for the other nude is the Baby Lips by Mamie Maybelline, um, the purple one, which I think is called Peach. And it's kind of more of a um, pinkier nude than the orangey nude. But I like my nudes and I like my pinky brownie reds. I also keep a lip pencil um, because this is a perfect lip pencil for either lining um, for dark lips like this, the darker, or lining and then blending out with a nude. It's great for that. And this is by Jordana and this is in Tawny. And it's a really inexpensive liner, but it's just such a great color. It's a brownie kind of mauvey color right down there. And it just you can either apply it heavily 
like I have here or very lightly and blend out with a nude and it just looks amazing. It's kind of comparable to almost like stone or even, not stone, um, I can't think of it from MAC but I'll think of it later and that's not going to help you. And then I keep a lip gloss um, and this is from Bare Minerals, it's called Brilliance and it's kind of like that reddy brown color but with it's inlaid with gold glimmer and gold shimmer and it just, when it hits the light, it's brilliant, hence the name Brilliance. And I'll go ahead and swatch this as well. You won't see the gold unless it hits the sun just at a certain angle, but it's just gorgeous. I have a little bit of it on my lips. And that is the Brilliance. You can't really see. So these are just the color range that I really keep in my purse at all times. If I'm going for a red lip, then obviously I'll put the red stuff in my makeup bag or a purple plum lip. But this is the colors that I keep the majority of the time in my makeup bag. So that's about it. Um, I also keep a mirror in my makeup bag. I didn't really mention this. This is Sephora. It's got a regular sized mirror and then a magnifying mirror, so this is nice. I don't have to go to a bathroom to fix up my makeup. I can stay in the car if I have to, or if I'm doing here at work, no one's here. I can pull it out and do my makeup really fast, put it back in. Nobody knows. I think that just looked great all day. Um, it's a nice little kind of little trick. Um, so if you guys want, go ahead and write me in the comments like what you guys would take with you to school or work. Um, and phone's ringing, so I gotta go. I'll see you guys later.